good enough. Let's get to Solas. Veil is by drowning the world in demons. I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the people are dying right now. You need to listen. dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! I'm with you! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall.
Barrick. Barrick. Oh no, no, no. Harding! You have no idea what you have done. Solus? I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here, but why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. As I said, Out. I do not want to be here any more than you do. But your actions have set events in motion. And I would not have your ignorance on my conscience. What are you talking about? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight. Corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. How am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric. Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the Elven God of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion. Depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Shot. No idea what 
what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well... <clears throat> Look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a Darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook? You're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I was just looking for Elfrut. No, it's, it's fine. I was just gonna stretch my legs. Oh, Rook. Watch your step out there. If you put a foot wrong, you'll fall forever. Yeah, on top of everything else, the Alluvian took us to the Fade. The place where dreams come from, so... that. Yeah. Then I really need to look around. Yeah, you should. And we should talk about things. Maybe find Nev. She's outside, looking around. There's a room with a table down the stairs. I'll meet you there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Look who's with us. We're, uh, we're really in the Fade. Land of raw magic, nightmares, and this, apparently. It's a lot to take in. Harding thought we should talk uh, about what comes next. She's not wrong. But if you need a breather, can't hurt to look around first.
So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks we all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry, uh, it was while I was unconscious, Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're alright. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganan and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Sola says Elganan and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that, without Varric. And you're still getting back on your feet. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things worse. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganan and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. 
We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solus is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind, but this time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site, instead of back to Minrathis. Then let's hope it takes us back. Harding, are you okay to go? I'm not going to sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. Quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. 
I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. A bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus and stopped his ritual, but things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else got out. Elganon and Gilanane, supposedly. Methalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been... I was really hoping the Dreadwolf was lying to us about a... He's the guy. He might... There's a re... But now they've escaped. Ter We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this one... Right. Then you... Harding, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. I can help. I know you want to, but we don't know what we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. Okay, fine. I'll stay. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near. Good luck. Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? I've never seen fog like this. Something's not right. So that suit of armor is moving. We've got company. <laughs> Laura, Belora Luter. Strife and Eelin sent us to find you. Who are you? Exactly. Call me Rook. Nev Gallus. Wait, I know that name. But protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed, for the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods, Elganan and Gilanane, have escaped Fen'Harel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what exactly? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god. There's dangerous enough. But what? See that shimmer? That's a veil bubble. 
It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. I think I prefer to stay in one piece, yeah. Right, me too. But I think I can find a way out. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I sure hope so. Well then, let's get going. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. A few dozen demons shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Ah, and I'm guessing it sees us as threats. just swirling into the air. We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. I've never seen one this size, though. Any ideas on what the artifact we're looking for might be? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just bail jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently.
Do you know what this place was? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. Well, isn't this a sight? Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. We can make the jump. Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Wow, isn't that something? Resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. We need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready.
Not us from a distance. Magic energy. Pat should be clear ahead. 